Coming right up, the 76ers take it on the Lakers. For Philadelphia, this team is playing winning basketball, victorious in seven of their last 10 games. Lakers, Sixers, coming up next on 2K Sports. To a great start. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Two NBA greats, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our analysts tonight. With our reporter, Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. So let's take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers starting lineup. LeBron and Davis, the two stars for L.A. on the floor. They're the three and the five. Austin Reeves out there with Johnson. And it's Wood in at the four. And for Philadelphia, Danny Green is out there with Paul Reed. Then there's Tyrese Maxey. Then it's Patrick Beverly. And it's Embiid in at the center position. Well, Grant, we're still very early into the season with many teams trying to find their footing and establish some chemistry here. The NBA, that's what the early season really is all about. I mean, players getting used to one another, as well as coaching staffs, too, just trying to figure out which lineups work best. Now here's Maxi. Up top, Embiid. Checked by Davis. Embiid passes to Maxi. Just five to shoot. The Lakers with a rebound. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. And with this matchup being East versus West, this is the first of only two meetings between these teams. Very difficult game to predict. They are not familiar with each other. I expect to see a lot of in-game adjustments tonight on both sides. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. Green against James. Here's Embiid. Shoots over Davis. And there's Embiid. That one's good. And the assist from Green. Excellent focus there from Embiid. Just pushes past the contact. James, outside. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Back to Johnson. The shot's good. Johnson's got his second basket of the game. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Now here's Maxi. We saw him with 19 his last time out. Shoots from the block. That one rolls around and rims out. And Davis has got the ball here for Los Angeles. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Cavaliers. And we all know that on the road, you don't usually look so comfortable on the offensive end. But that was the story of the game. Yeah, they look right at home, except they weren't. Great job of blocking out the noise. And so here is Philadelphia. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago, Maxi passes to Embiid. And it's blocked by Davis. Using that seven foot six wingspan, Anthony Davis. Oh, oh are you kidding me? Respect LeBron showing the artistry that other. players could only dream of for Philadelphia they've gone one of four to begin this one 
Well, Smitty, despite starting in the play-in, the Lakers made it to the conference finals last year. And it wasn't easy, B.A., knocking out Ja and the second-seeded Grizzlies, then defeating Steph and the defending champion Warriors. A really impressive run. Here's Reeves. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. Philadelphia grabs the miss. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. James against Green. Pass to Maxi. Shoots over Johnson. Wood grabs the board. And so it's Johnson with it. He brings it up for the Lakers. Four-point game. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. And while we have a moment, let's recognize a player who has been working hard lately. Your Western Conference Player of the Week. What's really impressed me is his ability to create for others on the offensive end. He's got a sharp mind for the game, and he's put it to use helping his teammates find good shots. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Pass to Embiid. Here's Reed. The three. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. Hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. When he's feeling good, he can help you stretch the defense a lot. Now here's Johnson. In the game against Cleveland, very impressive. It's stolen by Maxi. Pass to Beverly. Embiid against Davis. And the basket by Embiid. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Down low. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. Such an intelligent playmaker. LeBron spots the openings and exploits them. So it's Philadelphia now. They trail by one. To the left side wing. Davis against Embiid. The Lakers with a rebound. Johnson on the wing. They double him with Beverly. Johnson with it. Now guarded by Beverly. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Pass to James. Six to shoot. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. The three from Wood. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. 
Maxi against Johnson. Here's Reeves. Yet to see a basket. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. We've seen Wood become a focal point of this offense, which in turn makes the defense act. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for Los Angeles. They're unselfish. They're passing the ball well, setting up teammates, playing team basketball, and they're focused. You have to like the fact that they're not settling at all. I mean, they've really made a point to get the ball down inside and challenge that interior defense. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And this summer, the Sixers making changes on the bench. Grant, the mission statement is clear. Make it past the conference semifinals. Oh, so clear, B.A. And while that's been the stumbling block in recent years, I'm not sure even that's good enough. This is a team with legitimate championship aspirations. Now here's Wood. He's another guy who had a great performance in that win against Cleveland. Beverly on the wing. Green, the pass to Maxi. Pass to Reed. Beverly outside. Embiid against Davis. That's good from Embiid on the assist from Beverly. Embiid's got eight. We know Beverly's ability as a defender, but don't underestimate his ability as a distributor. He has good vision. And again, the Lakers, no good. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. Pass to Reed. Here's Maxi. Guarded by Wood. And here's Embiid. And Embiid gets the double team. For three, Maxi hits the trifecta. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Here's Reeves. Still no points. Here's Johnson. James, a screen on Maxi. And he's going for the lob! And it's James with the jam! Boy, as a roller, the strength and speed of LeBron, tough cover for anyone. And Philadelphia calls time here. Now that we're into November, let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. You take a look at the 76ers. Philadelphia has gone two for three from outside the arc. For three, Maxi. Wood grabs the board. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. Beverly with a steal. Outside, green. Here's Embiid. And Davis with the block. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. Tucker's checked in for Philadelphia. Melton comes in for Maxi, And the Lakers also making a change. Russell is checked in. Five on the clock. Beverly, the pass to Reed. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Reed's got five now. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Pass to Johnson. Wood, a screen on Melton. Oh, there's the alley! And Wood with the stuff. Great length from Wood. Throw it up and let the big man go get it. Here's Beverly. He's scoreless. Here's Reed. Melton outside. Five to shoot. Embiid a screen on Johnson. 
Melton with the ball. And Johnson picks him up defensively. Trying to take advantage of soft defense. He might have gotten over eager. Wood finds Johnson. Back to Wood. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Johnson against Melton. Pass to Embiid. that Embiid plays with. It just gobbles up the miss and goes back up for the score. Wood outside. Johnson with it. Give him eight. Davis with the screen on Melton. Johnson passes to... Oh, okay. Oh, my okay. goodness. That is... Cocked it back and fired it home. Oh, oh, indeed. The grace, the athleticism. Most bigs could not have pulled that off. But A.D. makes it look easy. Time called here. The 76ers decide to talk it over. Some changes here for the Lakers. Hayes is checked in for Christian Wood. Hachimura comes in for Reeves. And Vincent is subbed in for Johnson. Sixers with some changes. Green's checked in for Reed, and it's Maxi in for Melton. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Christian Wood is checked in for Hayes. James comes in for Achimura. Johnson, he's checked in for Vincent. And Reeves is subbed in for Russell. On the court for the Lakers. LeBron and Davis, the two stars for L.A. on the floor. They're the three and the five. Johnson is out there with Austin Reeves. And it's Wood in at the power forward position. For Philadelphia, they've gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. All right, let's get a report from Allie. For the Lakers to be successful, Coach Darvin Ham said, quote, Anthony Davis is the key. None of this works if he's not available and hitting on all cylinders. We've all seen what can happen when he's healthy and playing at a high level. It's just a matter of managing his body. Brian? That's a good point. That's true for everybody, too. Thanks, Allie. And Philadelphia has possession. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. Here's Reeves. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. Witness. Philadelphia has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Maxi on the wing, covered by Johnson. Embiid against Davis. Pass to Green. Puts up a three. That's good from Beverly. The assist from Green. He plays the game with tremendous resolve. Beverly undaunted by the deep. Double team on James. And here's Johnson. Ten points for him. Screen by James. Johnson passes to James. The shot misses. The Sixers trailing. Pass to Tucker. It's going to be on LeBron James. That's his first foul. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. Oh, terrific defensive intensity right there. Getting stops like that is crucial for them right now. Reed's checked in for Tucker. The Lakers also with a sub. Russell is checked in. Green with the ball. 
Beverly outside. Screen by Embiid. And it's blocked by Davis. Now the Lakers moving it up. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. An aggressive move to a strong finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Now here's Maxi. Give him eight. Beverly outside. Embiid a screen on Russell. Beverly, the pass to Embiid. Russell with the rebound. Wow, he doesn't miss many of those. He's such a strong finisher and tight. The shot by Johnson, no good. And Embiid has got the ball here for Philadelphia. When this game is done, they'll be off to New Orleans as they take on the Pelicans. That'll be the first leg of just a two-game trip for them. Maxi, that's good. For Los Angeles, they've gotten 8 of 14 shots to drop so far in the second. It seems you could bring in anybody to this team and pair them with Embiid, and they'd still win, Greg. Oh, they got a solid roster, but there's no denying that Embiid is the heartbeat of this team. The 76ers know how Embiid goes, kind of like our broadcast with you. And in the last five seasons, they've gone to the playoffs. You won't find a much better alley-oop partner. AD flying to the rim. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Davis. Oh, the block shot grabs it out of the air. Johnson against Maxi. The three from Russell. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. A volume three-point shooter. The coaching staff encourages Russell to fire away. Philadelphia calls timeout. Hachimura's checked in for Los Angeles. And the 2K leaderboard looking at the best when it comes to field goal percentage. Second is Anthony Davis. He's been fantastic scoring the ball, shooting it at a high clip. Philadelphia has gone 50% from the perimeter in the second, shooting four of eight. Beverly outside. Pass to Maxi. Davis against Embiid. Shoots over Davis. Goes back up. Yes! Embiid from in close. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. There's the screen by Johnson. Now Davis. Embiid covers. Davis, the pass to Johnson. And Maxi over to help. Here's Reeves. The three. And another three for the Lakers. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. Maxi surveys. Pass to Beverly. Embiid against Davis. Shot clock at six. Puts one up from 19. Embiid empowered. Oh, clock dwindling, but it doesn't bother Embiid. He knows he can find a shot anytime. Embiid with a steal. Green with the ball. Hachimura covering. Beverly, the pass to Green. Back to Beverly. Rebound, the Lakers. Pass to Johnson. 
116 left in the first half. Wood with the screen. Johnson passes to Reeves. Achimura from long range. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. They'll pin that foul on Danny Green. And on both sides of the ball, Rui Hachimura plays with great aggression. Grant, he embraces that part of his game. You can't ignore the physicality that he plays with. Rui is at his best when he's playing bully ball. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darvin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. And the defense is really allowing them too much room. on the perimeter. Johnson against Maxi. Oh, swiped away. Now the Lakers moving it up. Johnson with it. Guarded now by Maxi. Johnson with a bucket. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. Philadelphia has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Maxie against Johnson. Now here's Maxie. 12 points for him. Clock at six. Late clock. The Sixers need to put one up here. MB. This is with the fallback. Jay. Good idea with the fadeaway. But the defense was just all over it. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. Looking to run whenever they can. That's part of why they lead. We'll be right back after this word. <laughs> 